Mario Diaz lost his father last December, but it was only after his death that the family from Mexico City learned the true cause, COVID-19. Despite presenting symptoms, none of his COVID-19 tests came back positive, delaying aggressive treatment. By the time his condition deteriorated so much he was admitted to a hospital, it was too late to save him. We could have acted sooner. He could have had treatment faster and might possibly have survived. It has demonstrated how our country's COVID-19 statistics have not been accurate. Unfortunately, in Mexico, cases like that of Mario's late father are not unusual. Last weekend, Mexico's government published a report revising the country's COVID-19 death toll. The new number was nearly 60% higher than official figures, with more than 320,000 dead. The new toll would eclipse Brazil in deaths and put Mexico behind only the United States in total number of COVID-19 fatalities. Even harder, maybe. One of Mexico's leading epidemiologists, Dr. Alejandro Macias, says given the country's handling of the health crisis, many more deaths are likely. To start with, we had a very precarious health system. Other factors could be like little testing, no places no, uh, to, to send people for, iso for isolation or quarantine. It seems that this pandemic will cost Mexico at least at the end, half a million people. A la inmensa mayoría. Yet, despite the report recognizing additional deaths associated with COVID-19, Mexico's federal government has not adapted its official figures. Federal health authorities say that's because while the correlation is suspected, in many cases, it's not proven. Que el exceso de mortalidad when we look at excess deaths, we are looking at the total number of deaths for many different reasons over the course of a year, not necessarily due only to COVID. So we can't relate them all directly to COVID. No tenemos que relacionarlo directamente con COVID. But even though they acknowledge the existence, they don't add them to the official numbers of deaths due to COVID-19. Uh, the Mexican government has, uh, has not said or done anything to suggest that they will change somehow or rectify the strategy that they're using for handling the pandemic. While Mexico is now seeing a decline in cases after an early year spike, the pandemic is far from over and third waves in much of the world signal caution and continued diligence. Health specialists here say they'd like to see a more accurate accounting as the country braces for whatever this virus may bring next. Alastair Bavostok, CGTN. Mexico City.